little review tonight and a new brand for the channel, um, probably one you've heard of, Buzz Rickson, um, and a brand that I've really wanted to try it for a long time. Um, so if you haven't come across Buzz Rickson's before, um, they are a Japanese brand but really specialising in reproduction, military wear, you know, from the 60s, 70s era, um, the sort of garments you see in films and um, very, very sort of American at their core. So this is their Combat Tropical Jacket. Um, it is super lightweight, um, pretty good for the summer, pretty good for layering, um, not a winter jacket by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, single uh, cotton weave uh, layer and this is uh, inspired, it's a, well it's in, in fact a direct replica of a 1964 uh, tropical jacket, so a Vietnam, Vietnam era jacket, and initially I, I thought this was the jacket that uh, Robert De Niro's character uh, Travis Bickle wore in Taxi Driver, um, but in fact it is a, a jacket which featured in Apocalypse Now, but I'm sure many other films because there's a whole host of films from that era of history. Um, history aside, really really nice jacket, um, as I say, really nice for layering. So in terms of size, this is the short medium. Um, all their sizes, as far as I can tell, uh, are labelled short. Um, and the medium here is, uh, on the label, says it's suited for a 37 to 41 inch chest. And I'm probably a real sort of 38, 39. And up to 67 inches in height, so up to about 5'7", isn't it? And I'm 5'10", and I think this is a really good... Um, fit for me. Um, actual measurements, if we want to get into that. So measuring this up, it's 22 inches across the chest, so that's a, re uh, a real 44 measurement on the chest there. On the shoulder, it's 18. The sleeve is 24 and a half inches. Length, 28. And the opening at the bottom is 21 and a half inches. So for me, um, I think I'm going to wear this layered. In particular, I've enjoyed uh, trying it out with this new hoodie from uh, Benzac. Really nice um, grey hoodie, zip, pocket, very nice. Review coming up on that very shortly, but really nice pairing with that. And as we sort of come to the end of winter, or sorry, come to the end of summer, um, that, that's kind of going to be my autumn pairing of an evening, I think, sort of a layering with this jacket. Um, the material, Historically accurate, lightweight cotton poplin material, so that's a really tight weave, um, woven on vintage looms. Um, it is water repellent rather than waterproof, but the key thing about it is it's really quick drying. So this is designed for hot environments where, where you can get wet and need to dry off again, yeah. such as the jungles in Vietnam. Not so much for the uh, English winter, but still a lovely jacket nonetheless. Um, on the front you've got lovely historically accurate urea buttons and the, the detailing is absolutely superb across this jacket. So I think probably what we'll do is we'll hop in and look at some of the detailing. Coming in for a few close-ups, we'll start off from the very top here. Obviously a couple of epaulettes, given the sort of military heritage. There's uh, the Urea shiny gloss buttons throughout, the vintage woven poplin material. On the back of the neck there you've got a hang tag and also the sizing information, short medium. On the front we've got a pair of pockets, slightly um, offset, bellows to one side to give you a bit of extra storage capacity and the, the drainage hole. On the outside you'll see a, uh, an opening there so you can get a pen in and on the inside you find a matching slot so it's not just going to fall into your pocket. A little bit of cleaning information in the side there. 30 degrees wash Obviously you'll probably want to put these through the wash a few times before you really sort of put them to use just to give them a little bit of a, a vintage look. Um, coming down the sleeve, 
no uh, breather holes in the pits, but um, a two position cuff with a, a gusset there, so you can get a little bit of a variation on how you wear that. And indeed you can roll it up if you wish. On the inside front here, you've got two rows of buttons, a couple of buttons on the inside there, and then your, your buttons with another layer covering them up down the front with a couple of uh, stitches just to keep everything where it should be. So I'd imagine that would be pretty good for windproofing. On the inside of the jacket, really nicely constructed seams. So they're not tape seams, but good quality construction, similar to what you'd find in a, a formal shirt. And finally, coming down to the bottom, you've got a pair of pretty spacious pockets, a couple of uh, buttons to close them and a good bellows structure, a couple of drain holes, plenty of capacity or somewhere to put your hands to keep them a little bit warm. Flipping around to the back of the jacket, very little to see apart from at the bottom there. You've got a couple of um, buttons to cinch in the waist just to get that sort of more tailored fit if you need that. On the inside of the jacket, there's a couple of points of interest, a couple of nicely sort of thought out labels, so historically accurate. The first label refers to the coat as a men's tropical combat coat, or combat tropical coat rather, obviously identifying Buzz Rickson's as a manufacturer. And then there's the instruction label, which is truly historically accurate, explaining the coats to be worn as an active garment, outside of trousers, explaining how to button up the front enclosure, adjusting the waist, how the sleeves have adjustable cuffs and can be rolled up, the drain holes provided at the bottom of the pockets, how to hand launder it, launder it and make sure the soap's thoroughly rinsed out. And the coat is made longer than normal with the pockets a little bit lower to allow access whilst you're still carrying your backpack. Well that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Um, I hope that was useful, I hope that's given you a good idea of how this jacket's put together and the fit that you might expect on this. Um, I picked this up from a website in Japan called Denemio. Um, absolutely fantastic price. Um, as I say, I've always wanted to try out uh, Buzz Rickson's clothing, but it's not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. On the Denemio site, this was a brilliant discount. So even with shipping, tax, all that sort of stuff, great price. Um, if you want to check out the site there's a link below. Also I've got a code for you to use on your first purchase which will get you 10% off so that will help that little bit extra to make it a real deal. Um, huge range of denim on their website. I've picked up a lot of them in the past. Oni, Tanuki, um, Two Cats brand, loads and loads of denim. Fantastic website, huge amount of range. Um, so by all means try that out. If you haven't seen the channel before, please check it out as well. Um, lots of uh, good quality clothing, heritage boots, denim, that sort of thing, a bit of everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff, um, guitar, cycling, check it out. We might share some other common interests. Of course, I'd love if you subscribed. If you thought this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you for the next review. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.